They were dogs with days left until they were saved. The solution? A jail sentence. Barbed wire doesn't typically inspire hope. But as Brad Edwards reports, this is a different tale. Good morning from the Cook County Jail. What's the news story today? It's one from deep within the bowels of Division 9, where poop pickup is a privilege. A dog experiment. Billy Dixon. Is in on a gun ramp. Who's this? Thin Mint. Thin Mint? Yes. Thin Mint. To even just sit here like this, it's, it's a miracle. It's called Stay. Tales of Redemption. Stay. Stay. Where doomed dogs get a second chance. Never expected to be here with a dog. Nor did he expect. Have you come a long way with him? That simple question. Anybody gets a little love, they change. Stay. No, stay. Dash is paired with Darrell White, two cells down. I had zero experience with dogs before this. In uh, four days, it'll be five months. They have had them. Yeah. You remember the day. Every day. Hey, hey. no. Because like, as I was teaching him, I was learning myself. <laughs> Patience, self-control. You see the, the offenders at the end of the program, it's like they've done a 180 degree turn. He's the first deputy chief of staff. A year and a half ago, sheriff called me and said, hey, I'd like to get this program together. Our interview in another Sheriff Dart pet project, the self-sustaining restaurant supplying jail garden. Terry Williams had his marching orders and doggone it. Nearly 100% adoption rate. That's correct. It's got to be about the most successful government program in Cook County. <laughs> and a drug dog to boot. Yeah, Cookie. We never thought that we would find a dog uh, capable of doing what Cookie's doing right now. Cookie was one of the program's first pit mutts. She's not genetically made and born to be a service dog. As the training went, they noticed that the drive for her toy was so high that she could possibly work as a canine. Good girl. A crime-solving super dog. Cookie's second find was uh, over $100,000 in drug money. She's had a couple good busts, yeah. And again, this is a dog that could have been euthanized. From death's door to certified drug dog. Today's duty, jail mail. All clear. Then Cookie exits and a little something snuck in a bin. The C is for... Cookie. Check. Cookie re-enters. Instantly hits and sits. Girl. Wow. Narcotic training is to her as play. Deputy Scanlon's her handler. We like to say she won the lottery. And so did the taxpayer. Oh, Cookie's yeah. crew is a who's who of pedigree and price tag. <laughs> Hans, a raw German shepherd with his lineage, as a pup cost taxpayers. Oh. And imagine if you could teach a bear's kicker the concentration of Masha, an 11-year-old Belgian Malinois. Pup price. Bloodhound Kelly searches for the missing. Purchased for. And cookie. Good girl. Once considered Good. worthless with surely a Maury Povich show worthy past, now has a certain future. Uh, we have one that hasn't been adopted yet. Dash is going to stay with us until we find the right owner. Sit. <laughs> Stay. He did stay. 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 Stayed. When his inmate got out in July, he'd hoped to adopt Dash. It wasn't to be. This isn't a fairy tale. It's Dash's tale. Here, Dash is now with Dixon, whose previous dog, Thin Mint, was adopted. He's become uh, the mascot of Tales of Redemption. <laughs> Good boy. A mascot of a program with a cookie on top. Good boy. Good girl. Good boy. What can you say about it other than unbelievable? So it was. On a Tuesday morning, Scott Wilson began editing our story. 
an hour in, the ending changed with an email from the sheriff's department. Before, I would I see myself down a lot, you know. <laughs> Doug was looking for a bit of redemption himself. He touched my heart right away. And found it. I fell in love with him. At a weekend adoption event. What are you doing, Shelly? We both saved each other. That is love. That was Brad Edwards reporting. Dash has adjusted perfectly to his new home, and the program is 0% taxpayer funded down to the donated treats.